All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your drawing of your hose that you had earlier to get your hoses down at your parts store. And you're gonna take your junction junction and you're gonna try to get the bag open. I'm gonna fight it, but you'll eventually get there. Then you're gonna take off your Oh jeez, I tighten them down. Pause. You're gonna take your one inch and your three quarter inch wrench, loosen up the nuts that hold this Hujima flop it together. Set these on the tire and lose them. They're the same size, that's a good start. Never know what they paint them with though. Some of the pieces are powder coated and it doesn't work for your sizes or your threads. Some of them have some terrible black paint that comes off immediately like the black lug nuts. Of course nowadays the chrome lug nuts fall apart immediately as well. You get it down to this little guy. Then you take your old piece of paper that you had your hoses on because you don't need that anymore and you're gonna draw out your piece here. And then we'll cut this out with a razor blade. All right, so we have heater hose, heater hose, AC, AC. And I wanna decide where to put these. We got our exhaust here. We most definitely wanna stay away from that. But we also have our inner fender liner coming down here. And we also have a pre-existing hole that we probably could use for maybe that second one down but I'm not sure if that's gonna land where we want it. We also wanna make sure that this works on the inside too. The inside I'd like to have as close to this edge as possible because then we can run it up against next to that, let's call it the engine tunnel, firewall. That tunnel part, I want those lines to go right up on that edge so it's not taking up as much of the floor as we can. Our AC line here is gonna kind of be easier to put that where it wants to go or harder to put up in this area and have the heater lines come through so the heater lines have a little more flexibility so I think we'll put those up at the top AC lines at the bottom I think that's our very bottom one I'll check on the inside here and then I'll get our inner fender well up here to mock up and see where we're at all right, I just got a pencil here. The bad news is the inner fender well is hitting the turbo tube before it can settle all the way in here on the core support. So our issues with our turbo tube continue. Um, it's just going to have to be modifying the inner fender well I'm just going to take out that corner there. I'll mark it out while it's on here. Maybe not fix the spot, but get it cut out to where I can see what I need to do. Alright, you probably can't see the line that I penciled out, but you're just going to have to trust me on it. Let's set our piece up here again. Head in here. Need to get our hoses trimmed and everything lined up here. This is that dipstick we need to two we need to change.
this one is our AC line off the pump. I think I'm going to cut this guy off. This was a hose that I made for the front that was supposed to go through the core support there and connect up. And I ended up changing it and putting the dryer back here instead of on the inner fender well. And so this hose just fits for whatever reason. But I don't think I like it. I think it would look better if all these came in at a straight. Cut this guy off first. Doesn't really care for that angle. We'll try it anyway. This is our AC hose crimper. This is a couple hundred dollar tool, it's not super expensive. But you put this guy in here, locks him in, nudge him up on there, make sure it's in all the way. You'll have a little hole on the fitting that shows you where the if the hose has made it all the way to the bottom there. You make want to make sure your hose is in there. This one doesn't matter orientation of this, but it matters a lot on a lot of them. So be mindful of which direction you face them. And then you get that. You can see the rubber came out the little hole there. Alright, we'll feed this guy back through here to our pump. And we're just doing mock-up. Normally you need to put on a O-ring. Do not forget that. Well, they're green for the AC lines, not a regular black O-ring. You cannot use a regular black O-ring. You need to get green ones for the AC for whatever reason. And then we've got a little line here. Actually, this guy does have the o ring on him, I'll show you. It's just a little, just an o ring. But those need to be on every single one of these. I'm not putting them on, and I'll be replacing that one. When it comes time, put all new ones on for final assembly. Alright, it's been kind of a long time coming on that little job too. Nice, neat, and tidy. And then we gotta do the same kind of deal on the inside to go from the bulkhead to the AC unit.